Jeez, Marie, this has got to be the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Mm. Or at least the second worst thing. Does she have to keep staring at me at a time like this? Never mind, Mama Lou. I still can't believe he let you walk out of there after all you've done for him. After all I've done for him. Kind of that moron nephew of his. Would you imagine he promoted him manager? Well, what happened? I told him he had two choices as far as this management is concerned. Either me or the door. And what'd he do? He showed it to me. And then he had the nerve to tell me not to let it hit me in the ass on the way oh, out. Oh, poor baby. <sighs> poor baby, poor baby. And us with a thousand dollars coming up on that mortgage. Oh my God, I forgot all about that. What are we gonna do now? Uh, maybe, just maybe, Someone could give us a loan till I get on my feet. Lou, you know Mama doesn't have any money. She's just getting by on her Social Security checks. Come on, Marie. She's been socking it away for years. And you know she doesn't spend it on beauty parlors or uh, charm school, that's for sure. Enough with Mama Lou. We're just gonna have to figure it out ourselves. It'll take a little time. I gotta look for a job, mm -hmm. but in the meantime, I got an idea. What is it? I'll go to the boss. The boss? Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. I mean, come on. I'm one of the boys over there. You know how it is with him and I, we're like this. Yeah, well, I don't think it's a very good idea. You know, those kind of people, they charge what? a lot of- Interest? Is that what you worried about, Marie? Come on, how could he? You realize what I mean to him? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean to him, Lou. And that's why I think it's a bad idea. Very funny, really funny. Look, I'll handle it. No! Not without the V. Ten points. Ten points? Jeez, boss, that's awfully high. Can't you? Can't do it. Money is tight these days. Maybe I've had better people overlooking my business interests. We wouldn't be in such a bind. <clears throat> it's my final offer. Take it or leave it. Now, boss, uh, we're gonna have to think, think this over. Thanks. Come on, fellas, time to earn your keep for a change. Tough luck, issue, man. Hey, that's a Frankie. Maybe he can set up a shine box out in the boulevard. Ooh. I'll bring in a few scudos, I'll lose. Uh, <laughs> if you bananas don't get moving, that's what you'll be doing. Whoa. Come on, let's get Smile. out of here. Come on. <laughs> Marie, how many of those things are you doing? Maybe if you save some money and some well, we wouldn't be in this mess. And what about the boss? I thought you two were like this. A lot of help he was to one of his boys. He wanted to help us out, believe me. But he said he couldn't have to or do Or maybe he should cut out the cigars or uh, all the shoe shines. Or how about those expensive meals? Marie, let's not get drastic, huh? Here, here. Italian restaurant, pizza chef wanted. <laughs> I can make a lot of dough with that one, huh? <laughs> a lot of dough. Well, oh, that's not funny. We're in trouble here. And you're making jokes. Sorry, sweetie. Now, here's another one, look. Night watchman needed. Good pay, benefits. Must be alert and in good shape. That ain't you. Marie, I'm not getting anywhere fast here. There's gotta be something. Well, just keep looking, honey. Something will come through. I gotta start dinner. Might be my last. Marie. What? I'm Marie! busy. I'm busy. Get Lou. over here now. 
karaoke, sing and look like the king, and they hand you over a grand. Oh, oh my Lou. God. I think the pressure's finally got to you. No, no. This is a cinch. I can do this. But Lou, you don't look anything like him, and you certainly can't sing. <laughs> what? Don't you remember back in the days my doo-wop singing back in Brooklyn? Yeah, but that was over 30 years ago, Lou. Yep. Tony Pursuit and the Profalones. We had a good thing there for a while. No, Marie, I'm gonna win this thing, and then you'll sing. And now the end is near. Oh, you know, for the first time since I've met you, I completely agree. <laughs> I've faced the final curtain. I've lived a life. <coughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. One for the money. Two for the show. Do you get ready? Man, go? you gotta go. Marie, Marie! All right, come on, Mama. Let's go get make dinner. Go. All, All right. right, we're gonna go make dinner. Whew. All right, now. We got this thing. Yeah, baby. All right. <coughs> One for the money. Two for the show. Three to get ready. Now go, go, go. Now don't you step on my blue. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, God. Who oh, am I kidding? I can't do this. Shake up. Oh, no. I gotta do it. But I can't. Oh, no. I can't believe it. What is this, some kind of joke? Ain't no joke, son. It's really me. In the flesh. Uh, maybe not really in the flesh, but it is me. Uh, you're really Elvis? Uh, uh, call me E. All my friends back home in the day called me E. How'd you get here? I thought you were dead. Man, dead in a Tennessee doornail. Man, I really went nuts. Nah, you're just down on your luck. But y'all got a big heart. And I aim to help you out. You know, I can really, really use your help now. Yes. Oh, the poor guy, he's so stressed out about losing his job, he's talking to people that aren't there. Yeah. Lou! Marie, look who's here. Look who's where, Lou? It's the king. I don't know, Lou. Look! Don't you want to come to dinner, Lou? I'm busy, Marie. I think I better call Dr. Klein. I think the men in the white coats would be better. Look, we don't have time to get me ready for this contest. You're right. We gotta move. Now that singing you were doing, man, it was bad enough to wake the dead. Well, looks like I did that already. <laughs> but, uh, do you really think I have a chance? With me helping you, you do. We gotta get down to business. First things first, we gotta get you into shape. Understand me when everything I do is wrong. You give me hope and consolation. You give me strength to carry on, and you're always there to lend a hand in everything I do. That's the one. Touch my hand and I'm a king Your kiss to me is worth a fortune Your love for me is a... <clears throat> oh. Come on, we gotta go, we gotta get out of here You feeling all right, Uncle Lou? 
I'm fine, I'm fine. Just get me to this club and let's get this thing going. You're coming? Okay. All right. Here you are, Uncle Lou. You're telling me that you're gonna do everything, right? You're gonna take care of all of this, right? Listen, man, you just go up there and do all the moves. I'll make it so that they, don't, they can only hear me singing and that's it. Don't worry about it. Good, good, because I want to walk out of there with cash in hand. You're going to be fine, man. Relax. Cash in hand? Are you going to rob the joint, Uncle Lou? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him. We're going to blow him away. Oh. What are you talking about, Uncle Lou? Never mind. You stay here. Keep the car running. Wait for me. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit. You ain't no friend of mine. Wasn't that great, ladies and gentlemen? Let's hear it for little Danny O'Connor. What's the matter, kid? I just stunk up the place. They didn't like me. Now I'll never be able to help my mom. What are you talking about? I had my heart set on winning that grand prize to help pay for my mom's eye operation. Oh. Well, don't worry about it, kid. It'll work out, believe me. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our final contestant, Mr. Lou Marmaluka. Ma, there's still a chance that you can put a stop to this. You, you OK, Lou? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You here? You here? Where are you? Hey, where'd you go? Right here. Where'd you? Just listen. Right. Just go through the motions. I got the rest. You sure? Yeah. Okay. 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 Hey, you know I can be found. Sit home all alone. If you can't come around, had to least please telephone. I don't be cruel to a heart that's true. Maybe if I made you mad, put something I might have said. Please don't forget my past. The future looks bright ahead. I don't be cruel to a heart that's true. I don't want no other love. Baby, it's still you are. It's not so bad. Well, let's walk up to the preacher and let us say I do. Then you'll know you'll have me, and I'll know that I'll have you. I don't be cruel to a heart that's true. I don't want no other love, a baby, it's still you I'm thinking of. I don't be cruel to a heart that's true. Don't be cruel to a heart that's true. Well, I don't want no other love. A baby, it's still you are a big enough. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Lou Marmaluka. I don't think there's any question who our grand prize winner is tonight. It's Lou Marmaluka. We've got a check for you for $1,000. Wow. Uh, I won, huh? You won. I won. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Lou Bonaluca. Hey, kid. You see, this is for you. You earned it tonight. Take care of your mother, okay? Oh, bless you, sir. That's, that's mighty big of you. Oh, very big of you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Mama Luke. 
I didn't know you had it in you, but you were great. <laughs> with you with that little kid. Thanks, boss. Wow. Look, here's a little something from the company. Oh, really? Don't be alone. Thank you, boss. Big? No, Vic. Uh. <laughs> nice job, shoe man. Thanks. Yeah. Sorry about the no, shine box joke, huh? Ah, that's all right. Don't worry huh? about it. What? Hey, don't punch the head. Hey, man. You did a great job tonight. And I love what you did with that little boy. That was right in line with the way that I lived my life. Ah, the kid needed it more than I did. So, Lou, you're still not gonna tell me how you did it. Call it divine intervention, Marie. Well, I'll just <laughs> take this suit to the dry cleaners for your next performance. Yeah, yeah. What's this? Looks like one of those scratch-offs. Yeah, I know, but... Well, did it get there? Well, why didn't you tell me we had one left? And, uh, I got something else I want to tell you. What? Let me get that. It might be my new recording contract. <laughs> <laughs> one, two... Lou? Yeah? I can't believe it. What? We won a thousand dollars! Get out of here. Look! You're right, Marie. You're right. This is a grand. I can't believe it. <laughs> How the hell'd you do it? I don't know. But... Oh my God. So. Oh. You wanted to tell me and, something. And 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 that phone call. Yeah. You know who that was, right? Oh. Mr. Barry. He wants me to start tomorrow as the new manager. Oh, that's great news, <laughs> Lou. Now, what about his nephew? Ah, uh, he must have saw a few steps in the back. He disappeared. I haven't seen him in days. <laughs> oh, and I'm so proud of you, you hunk of hunk of burn and low. <laughs> well, uh, what else did you want to say before? Uh, 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 oh, no, no, everything's good. Go spread the news. Go spread the good news. All We're right, all I'll good. go Yay. tell mom and the kids. Hey, kids! We won! Wow. Hey, man. I really loved helping y'all out, but uh, I got to be going. Uh, I'm gonna miss you. There's not too many times in a guy's life a man like you shows up in it. I want to thank you, Elvis. Ah, uh, call me. E -E. I know. That's what your friends call you, right? Right. But uh, listen, before you go, there's something I got to give you. I want to give you these. I thought you were leaving these to me as a souvenir. Souvenir? Are you kidding me? I paid almost a grand for them back in 77. I got a grand for you. Marie, he's talking to people who aren't here again. 